Major Grom, Plague Doctor, sees a masked vigilante's killing spree throwing a city into chaos, which causes the title character, a renegade detective, along with his rookie partner Dima, to be the only ones who can stop it. This is directed by Oleg Trofim, and I originally had no plans on checking this one out, as I thought it was just going to be another generic Netflix action movie that would quickly get buried in the sea of their original films not too long after seeing release. But to my surprise, there's a bit more to this one than I was initially led to believe, mainly due to its origins, as it's actually based on a Russian comic book series simply known as Major Grom, and it seems to actually have something of a following, and this is not the first adaptation of it either, following a short film just called Major Grom in 2017. So this caught my interest, and I figured I'd give it a shot. Now, unfortunately, my initial suspicions of this were at least partially confirmed. In terms of story, this does feel like it's trying to be similar to a number of films we've seen before, most notably V for Vendetta and The Dark Knight, and pretty much any other film that's spun out of that mid to late 2000s need to make everything dark and gritty. Now, it's worth noting that The Plague Doctor and Major Grom are two different characters. On one hand, The Plague Doctor is our antagonist, and he has these somewhat generic motivations, thinking that the city is too corrupt and crime-infested. Meanwhile, Major Grom is a rogue detective with exceptional combat skills, but plays by his own rules and has all these unconventional methods and he routinely gets chastised for it and so on and so forth. In terms of its characters and narrative beats, everyone and everything more or less fits into one trope or another, so there really weren't too many surprises to be quite honest. But what it lacks in originality, it does make up for in its action scenes, performances, and sense of humor, because despite its faults, it can be a lot of fun. The action scenes are all incredibly well choreographed and hyper stylized with a lot of really well done stunts. And from a visual standpoint, it's on the same level as more popular big blockbuster superhero movies like anything out of the MCU or DCEU. The camera work is also pristine and absolutely gorgeous at times with a lot of crisp production values and some stunning wide shots of the city while the costume designs are all really solid with each character having a distinct style to them. And despite many of the characters fitting into one trope or another, the performances do work for the most part. While I would have liked a bit more from the title villain, I do think Tikhan Zevsky was really charismatic as Major Grom. While his personality isn't anything we haven't seen before, he was charming and likable, and I thought he had some nice screen presence. And as I said, the film would be funny at times as well, never taking itself quite too seriously outside of some corny dialogue by the villain. The highlights for me would be the banter between Major Grom and his partner named Dina Dubin, who has an overly friendly approach which contrasts with Grom's rougher tactics. Again, it's all by the number stuff, but due to just how much fun all the actors had with each of their roles, their performances made up for the fact that there wasn't quite much depth to the actual characters. Now, overall, despite the fact that this doesn't break any new ground, it was still fun for what it was. The action scenes were pretty exciting, the actors all seemed like they had an absolute blast with it, it was surprisingly quite funny at times, and it had a tone that, for the most part, didn't take itself too seriously. Despite the fact that the story was only so-so, this was also the first arc in the comics, and to my understanding, the comic comic book version of this story is also viewed as the weakest arc, and it does get better from here. So if they do go forward with a sequel, hopefully any further adventures with these characters will improve in a similar way to the comic's progression. Now, despite this film's faults, I'd say it's worth watching, so if you're looking for something to watch on Netflix, give this one a shot. Major Grom Plague Doctor gets a 7 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Major Grom, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Should this be turned into a major movie franchise? Have you seen anything else good on Netflix lately? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep having fun with film.